here with Harley Ben for Grassroots Boxing. Third time lucky. Yeah. Um, yeah, we were just talking briefly off camera about your, your next fight. So yeah. Center. Yeah, tell us a little bit about that. I'm fighting uh, 9th of March at the Brentwood Centre, so it's about, I think, 10 days away now. Um, I've had some good experiences at Brentwood Centre. I had my second fight there and my fifth fight, both uh, both wins, so it's, uh, it's local to me. Mm -hmm. So, always got a good team there, good atmosphere. And this one's, sold, this one's a sold out show, I think 2,500 people there. So, um, yeah, these MTK shows are like really Yeah, really good, scary. yeah. Obviously, I'm not signed to MTK, I'm signed to Frank Warren. Mm. Um, but when they have a good relationship, mm. so when there's a show opportunity, I'm more than happy to be on an MTK it's show. Good to promote, it's kind of yeah, of course, because sometimes, obviously, Frank Warren has a lot of good professional boxers, and when shows get full up and things like that and instead of not being out at all I'm, I'm on a great MTK show do you know what I mean yeah, so well. yeah exactly yes. local got a, a, a good support system there yeah. really excited about it and it's my sixth fight it'll be my last four rounder so I want to start to like six, six rounders, rounders yeah. yeah so I want to make a a good print on on a good footprint on on my four rounders mm -hmm. and they've, they've all gone to plan so far so I make sure this one does um, and then, yeah, crack on to the six rounders. And that was um, my next question. Mm. So, obviously, you and your training team, and obviously with Frank Warren. Yeah. Um, how do you how do you plan? Because obviously, you've had like limited amateur kind of. No amateur. Oh, no, amateur. Yeah, 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 literally. So um, and a few white collar, if I remember yeah, rightly. Yeah, I had a few. Uh, I say white collars. They was more sort of gym mm. sparring things and that. It just I'd sort of help use that to help me get to where I wanted yeah. to be. I had a few little ideas of white collars that were gonna happen. Mm. And didn't, and then I managed to have like one or two little gym bouts and things like that. That were, I look back on it now and I think, what was I doing? Honestly, comparing to now to then, I never thought I'd be a professional boxer then. That wasn't the plan when I was doing these gym sparrings and gym bouts, just for fitness. Do you know what I mean? I never, obviously, I come from a, a boxing family. Um, I never put on a pair of gloves until I was 18 years old, and it, that was never the plan. It wasn't all right. I'm gonna have no amateur career and and, and be a pro. That was never the plan. Um, it just sort of I picked it up quite quick, and I thought, you know it's what? In the jeans, isn't it? Yeah, literally. So, and it, it, if I if I had an amateur career, I think I'd be a lot better than I am now. That's just honest for talking. Do you know what I mean? Like a, an amateur career does help you in regards to experience and things like that. The first time I properly stepped into a ring for a fight without head guards and tenant was was my professional debut. So. That was a bit daunting. Yeah, your call, wasn't it? Your call, yeah. yeah. It was daunting, and if the you had your mum like ringside. Yeah, it, yeah, and I just remember it being a surreal feeling. I thought, oh, like when the um, the guy came and was like, Harley, right, you're on in, you're on in five. Um, I was like, oh no, what am I doing? So how, okay, let's, let's talk about mm. that experience, right? So it's it's your first professional fight. Obviously, mm -hmm. your call as well, being yeah, the, the, the of place course. It is. Um, were you nervous up until the build up, or was it was it cool? Was it how, how, how are you? I was well nervous. <laughs> yeah, literally every single day for about eight weeks before the fight, I woke up like, wow, I'm fighting soon, I'm fighting soon. And on TV. On TV as well. And I remember um, sitting in the changing room, dripping in sweat from nervous sweats. And I remember someone coming in to me and saying, oh, Carly, you know, it was 30 years today since your old man fought here as well. I thought, oh, that ain't helping with the nerves. Do you know what I mean? That's another thing. And then, um, I remember it was the first round, so the bell went and I started and I got hit with a big left hook straight away. And I was like, well, here we go. Welcome to the Welcome pro to ranks. Boxing. Yeah. And um, in the second round, I just put him in the corner and unloaded about 40 shots, I think it was. And I remember thinking, the ref has to stop this, otherwise there's probably not a good chance I'm going to be able to fight for another two rounds. Honestly, I punched yeah. myself out. But luckily I got to, got to stop him whilst I was punching myself yeah. out. I think I... Got overexcited, over everything, over anxious. As well, when you're mm. nervous, as well, it takes up a lot of energy. Yeah, of course, of course. And I've been, I've been sparring six to eight rounds, so I've, I'm more than fit for it. But I never realised how, how much nervous energy you use before a fight. That's why now I control it, I relax, I chill out because that burns a lot of your yeah. of, of your fight energy massively. I um. But yeah, it was a surreal experience, amazing experience. Best day of my life, the debut, 100%. Did you feel like um, a little bit more pressure, obviously, with the name as well? So not just, One, you, you know, you had your first professional fight, yeah. you had your first fight in front of the cameras. Yeah. yeah obviously, you got the, the, the Ben name as yeah. well. Is it like yeah, it, it was, because obviously, my dad, at the start of his pro career, was knocking everyone out. Yeah. Um, he was a two-time world champion. So people obviously do expect you to. It's like, if I'm honest, if someone said, right, Brooklyn Beckham's playing football today, yeah. I'd expect him to be really good. Just 
and I suppose sometimes that can be a little bit narrow-minded but it's just how the mind works if you think someone's if someone's dad's a world champion boxer you're automatically going to think oh they're going to be quite good do you know what I mean but I put it out there from quite early I'm not my dad um, yeah I've, I speak to my dad and he says that he sees things in me that he done and, and in that that's, that's a massive compliment do you know what I mean because he's he, his style was amazing. It was more of a, a fighting style than a boxing style. You're not always going to be your dad, are you? No, you of course not. And I'm not trying to be either. Do you know what I mean? I'm my own person. I've managed to get myself to five fights, five wins, and I want to. Um, I want to be able to to progress that. And I think what I've done in five fights. What if you look at my debut to look at my last fight? Mm. It is ridiculous. Off, uh, uh, Super middleweight. middleweight. Super middleweight. I'm five foot ten. Do you know what I mean? Is I'd be. I, I was a tiny super middleweight, and the guys that the first two guys that I fought, one of them was like this, and one of them was like this, and I thought, do you know what? This isn't my weight class, and I was fleshy, so yeah. I, I took a big jump to super welterweight from super middle. I didn't even go to middle. I missed out middleweight completely and super welterweight. But yeah, I, I like fighting at super. But I am jumping down to welter. This is my last four rounder and my last fight at super welter. So my next fight will be a six after this one. Will be uh, yeah one four seven at six rounds. So it'll be a. I think you'll see a completely different fight. I think I will progress. Well, I'm, I will progress every fight. And um, yeah, and it's gone how I want it. my first fight was worse, second one was better, third one was better, fourth one was better, fifth one, and now uh, I'm just moving forward. So this year it'd probably be a number of six rounders just to kind yeah, of... Yeah, number of six rounders, and then... Um, get yourself into the way. Uh, yeah, of course, and I want to um, eventually end up fighting Nathaniel Wilson. Yeah, um, Chris Eubanks. So. Yeah, which, will, which is a fight I'm looking for maybe towards the end of the year. Yeah. And um, he's already, a, I think, six to eight round fighter, yeah. eight round fighter, I think. So I'm just working my way up. The there, isn't yeah, it? yeah. And I was, um, I put on my Instagram, um, not even, you know, people call people out sometimes with no manners and quite rude. Yeah. I put, who would like to see me and Nathaniel Wilson have yeah. a fight at the end of the year? And then he messaged me, oh, why are you clout chasing and that? And I thought, automatically, don't like you, want to punch you in the face. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I'm so on already together. the kind of semi beefs kind of yeah, thing. but I didn't want it to go down that way. I was at, I wasn't calling him out saying oh I would knock him out this and that. I was like who would like to see us? I put a little thing on my Instagram, mm. and he didn't take too well to it. So that's what we wanted. Keep, yeah, uh, yeah, definitely so because you know, like I said, I'd like to get that on at the end of the year. Definitely. Um, so I don't know who Nathaniel's signing is. He signed with Frank. No, he was, but he's not anymore. I think he's like freelance now. Oh, is he? Um, yeah, he, I, he was meant to. I thought he was meant to. I was really excited to watch him because um, I think he was meant to be fighting on the Eubank the Gal undercard. Yeah. And then for whatever reason, it wasn't. I don't know whether a time in or they ran over time or whatever. Yeah, because so Chris Cogger was supposed to fight on that. So yeah, Chris. I, was I, I, I went to see it because he was fighting that pain order. My yeah, brother fought. Yeah, yeah. And. Um, in a six round, I think. It was. Yeah. That would have been a, been a good fight. Good that's, test for Chris as yeah, well. very good test. I mean. I don't think when my brother was matched with that pain lord, anyone knew that he was going to come out fighting like that. Um, he's got a big kickboxing background apparently that no one knew as well. So he, um, he came. Out. He's a, it's a great fight, pain lord. He's a very good test he's for prospects. Tough, tough yeah, oh, very, t very tough. I mean, I mean, that first fight with my brother. Yeah, that was that was very tough, touch, close yeah, fight. Touch and go, uh, yeah, uh, and I think I'd tell you probably. Uh, I would probably maybe could have scraped it saying that. I mean, in boxing, you, you could have given it either way. Right? Yeah, you could have given that either way. Either one. But I think I think my brother done very well in that first round. That was a horrible first round for yeah. him. The horrible. He awful. walked flush onto a left right and so he got he's up. really kind of probably again. He's under pressure to come out. Yeah, of course he is. Really, so and um, and it, my brother was it, well was and is a lot more in the public eye than me. So mm. it was probably. A, I can imagine the amount of pressure and mm. that first round it was I was watching it and I, and I did feel for him then I thought but I knew he was going to turn it round mm. I did I could see it in him that he was going to turn he it round and yeah that, yeah cool. and he um, and he got up and he made it honestly that was one of the best well probably the best six round fight I've seen last yeah. year so and then he um, yeah and then he went on to have a rematch and win the WBA Intercontinental yeah, yeah. so yeah, yeah he's, great he's, couple he's, of fights they was doing okay for himself as well. Yeah, yeah. But they found that that'd be that would be Yeah, it'll be think that will happen this year. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I'd like to hope so. There's um he fights at a lighter weight than me, but if I get to Welter and he's a super lightweight Kind of do you can you can yeah. meet. Do you know what I mean? You Especially can. Especially when there's no real belt involved. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And you and you can and you well, can. Would sort you of want meet. that overlap? Would you want that? That's. 
I, I would, I'd, I'd like, if I can work myself, I don't want to get ahead of myself and I never will. And this isn't me saying that I'm going to be English champion or yeah. I'm going to be Southern Area champion, this or that. But I think that fight would be better for a title. I do. I yeah, think it, kind of yeah, I think it would be, yeah. You would, in a way, it could be, you know, like, uh, I know Eddie Hearn has his mm -hmm. JD next gen, like the equivalent mm -hmm. of Frank Warren. Like, yeah. Like, top a bill at uh, uh, your call. Cool, really. Yeah, so of course, like, I believe so. Or on a big uh, undercard. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? On a big undercard, and it's something I'm, I'm interested in. Um, I know my ability, and it's improving, and by the end of the year, and I'll beat him. Mm. So, we'll get How it on. How many fights, ideally, this year, you're looking to, to get? I want to, I want to have, so I should be at like Christmas time. Yeah, like okay. I'd like it. I'd like four before that. If I'm honest with you, yeah. it's uh, I'd like, I want a busy year. I'm fighting much. I'm. I think I'm not allowed to say too much about, it, but I think I'm fighting in April as well. Okay. So I'm busy for the next couple good, of months. Good, good. Maybe get one in summer. Mm -hmm. Then like September, and then who knows the end yeah, of the year? Good. Yeah, of course. And um, I'd be more than up for it. More than up for it. Yeah, we don't want to get run over. <laughs> Um, Normally it's packed out in this car park, we're alright today, yeah. Um, I was just on your training team, do you want to tell us a little bit about training? Yeah, I was, um, it's, it's funny you say that actually, because I've newly ch joined train, uh, changed trainers. Um, I just want to say a big thank you to Lenny Butcher, who's helped me out massively and, and, and got me to 5-0. and um, Now I'm at Fort Galaxy Gym with Ade, Terry and Asgar, and um, I'm really looking to push on now. Um, the work here is, is, is a different level. Yeah. It's um, it's crazy. I've never, I've never been trained like it. I literally made the transition. I was like, wow, this is feel good. I've only been here a week and a half. What was the reason for, for the changing trainers? Yeah, it was more of a mutual agreement. I mean, how can I put this? Um, I feel like Lenny done an amazing job with me, taking me from sort of a white collar average fighter to an undefeated professional. But I feel like I wanted to gain more, if you know what I mean. I wanted to, to gain more because I I haven't that Lenny was the only trainer I had and I wanted to spread my wings if you see if you if you know what I mean. So to, to, to move on and, and, and see what I could get elsewhere and, and I found a fantastic place here. I mean I'm here with my, my boy Hamza Shiraz. We yeah, was both yeah. with Lenny and we both made the move. Um, but yeah, not taking any way thing away from Lenny, done a great job with me and I'll forever be grateful for that. But I'm here at Fort Galaxy at the minute and we're looking to take things far. Yeah. Um, in regards, just quickly on your dad, did your dad have much input into... Me and, my dad, me and my dad, as people know, we, we had a rocky up and down relationship, but we've smoothed everything just out now. Just like the box. obviously I, I don't want to... Yeah, no, of course, just... I'd like to clear that up though. People, at, just quickly away from the boxing, yeah. we had a, an up and down relationship. Mm -hmm forever but we've smoothed that all out now That's the good. Bens nice. are in a full so it's team Ben and yeah. my dad sends me things all the time so about like, boxing like advice and yeah it. showing me moves yeah. and the thing, he is still he's, he's 55 yeah. and he's so fit the so man he a fight again, he? yeah he does and I'd love to see that I, I just see a massive big Ben Eubank card, like, because there's that. a lot, there's a lot of Ben, um, a some, of yeah, a couple of Eubank cards, it could be a big Ben undercard, yeah, yeah. I think it'd be massive, yeah, that would, awesome. but, um, obviously it must be, it, it, at that age, it's got to be hard to be able to mm. put thing politics, licenses, and things like that, but, if both fighters genuinely agree, which I know my dad's up for it, if, it's, it's Steve as well, isn't it, Steve Collins, Steve Collins yeah. yeah, I think, I don't. I think that that got the plug got pulled on that because he, just, he didn't pass a medical, or he was he was un, or he or something something happened there. Don't quote me on that. I don't want to talk too much okay, about yeah, it because, okay, but yeah, yeah, but something happened why that didn't happen. So he's still basically in his mind. He wants to have one more fight. Yeah, I think, yeah, and I don't see why. He's honestly, and he says to me that he's fitter now than than he's ever been. Yeah, I've seen him a couple of years. And yeah. that looks very true. If I'm honest with you, he looks fitter than fitter than ever. And Oh, but I'd love to see him in the ring again, but who knows? Hopefully. Just, just going back to Wally, what advice does uh, does your dad give you? Like, what does what does he say? Like, you're so he'll send me he'll send me he'll send me videos of of different moves that he thinks I should try because my dad my dad watches my fights and then yeah. he'll tell me what I could have done here and should have done here, and he'll send me them kind of things, and you can just see how good these moves are. Like, it's just like wow. Like, he, he knows what he's talking about, and it's because me and my dad have never really had that relationship. It's good to, to now have it, and it's all going well. Absolutely, I mean, yeah, world champion, world champion, of so, course, yeah. and um, yeah, he's he's very much involved in my boxing.
does he, um, when he comes over here, do you ever uh, like do little sessions together? Yeah, well, we, um, funny enough, me, me and my dad wasn't talking and I bumped into him here and we hadn't talked for like a year and we had a big chat and that uh, and he showed me and he took me to do some things. But he lives in Australia. Yeah. So it's, I he's he not... I know he sometimes comes back for... Yeah, he comes back and he hasn't really been back when we've been, had a good relationship, but now we do. I'm really excited for him when he comes back and we can get in the gym and, yeah. and, 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 do, some, and do some bits. Awesome, awesome. That's yeah, to, it's good. It's good to hear. Um, mm. All right, well, listen, we we've talked for, for a bit. Oh, yeah. one, sorry, one thing I did want to ask was, uh, did you watch the Degal and Eubank? I did, yes. Yeah, what's your thoughts on that? I, I said to everyone, Eubank, from the minute that the fight got announced, I just didn't, I just thought, because I was at the James Degal versus Truax fight, yeah. and that's James Degal. The first one. Yeah, the first one, sorry, yeah, the cop box. And I think that was, from then I saw, I was like, I don't know, I like James Gow a lot. And I'm not I'm not sitting here trying to, he was an amazing fighter. And if any, if I achieved half of what he achieved in his boxing career, I'd be a happy man. Yeah. But I just thought, if he fights Eubank, I think he's going to lose. I don't think he's got enough in the tank. Because Eubank, I think Eubank's good. I think he's a good fighter. People, a lot of people don't like him or his style. He just needs a bit of guidance. Yeah, that's what he does. But he's, he's, his engine, he is a relentless fighter. His engine, if he gets the right training and the right guidance, it would be amazing. Do you know what I mean? And I just thought, I, I watched it. I didn't think either fighter performed as good as they could have. Mm. Um, but yeah, I thought it was a good win for Eubank. He needed to that's step up. Need, and it was a retirement fight. Do you know what I mean? Well, that's what it was dubbed. So... It was a it, it must win, really. Yeah. So yeah, it was a good fight. All right, cool. Um, anything else you want to add or any shout outs or sponsors? Um, yeah, I just want to say a big thank you to my sponsors. I've got a t-shirt on it. A big thank you to Britannia Canine Security, Do I Date, Essex Electricals, and Paul's Haulage, who will make it possible for me to be a full-time boxer. So massive thank you to them. Um, oh, social media? Can yeah, play? social media. My Instagram is Harley Ben Official. Ben with two N's, obviously. Um, and my Twitter is just Harley Ben. So, yeah, thank you very much. Well, listen, thanks for giving us your time, and hopefully, we'll come down again and get some footage. Perfect. Thank you very much. Nice one, man. Cheers.